Do you know what? Since I started doing these YouTube videos, I thought I'm going to be a beacon of positivity. There, there are enough videos slating everything, but I, I I'm getting I'm getting sucked in like the proverbial tractor beam, and it's always dismal minus. Let's talk about Indiana Jones 5 or 6, whatever number it is, after the scroll. Bonjour. So, what? I'm moaning about not being able to be happy on YouTube. Yeah, I am. Because it keeps continuing. Con the, the latest trailer's dropped. And I, f I follow a, a few like-minded, interested individuals who are into the comics and genre films and TV and all that. The ner Nerdrotic and um, Overlord DVD and Hills vs. Babyface, Critical Drinker, you know, and, and on, on and on and on. And particularly, not that you need to shout out from me, but Overlord, um, a good old Doom Cop. This Indiana Jones trailer, he told us, he told us his rumours of always, you know, and he does always say, please, these are rumours, you know, these are little whispers and that. And when things arrive, like Star Wars films and stuff, it's always true. And I saw this trailer and the first thing, time travel. Um, It could work, do you know what? Yeah, it could work, because Indiana Jones has been involved in enough kind of um, fantasy shtick, um, courtesy of Spielberg and Lucas, to make it work. Do you remember the Ark of the Covenant? Without even stepping on the toes of anyone religious. Do you remember that? You, imagine if that film was brought out now. Anyone would be going, oh my God, it, you know... No, it was just Ark of the Covenant. It's in the Bible. Uh, the Bible? What about the Koran? Uh. No. No. It is a film, 90 minutes, beginning, middle, end, gone. Right, done. Had a decent sequel, had a decent third film, and that's a de decent other one. But nevertheless, they rounded it out and they married him off, didn't they? Because Harrison Ford's, and, you know, and he, he's a bit of a character as well behind the scenes, isn't he? I think we all know that. They marry him off and, and, oh my God, it's a heterosexual white man getting married to a heterosexual white woman. And, oh my God, there's the son. And he, do you remember at the end of it where he nearly puts the, oh, oh, I know it was a bad choice, don't get me wrong. And I'm not singing praises of Crystal Skull. But nevertheless, he goes to put a cat. It was just a nice little nod and a wink to the audience. Oh my God, oh, how very standard. How very, very standard. So, now what we get, we fast forward another 10, 11, 12 years, of, and the trailer starts on the... I thought it, they might as well have made it mobility scooters. They've got the little tuk-tuks or whatever they are wherever they are in, in, in this trailer. They've got the little golf buggies, tuk-tuks, whatever you want to call them, like you go on Ollie in Thailand and, you, you know, you get taken everywhere in a little tuk-tuk. Might as well have been mobility scooters. Harrison Ford's 80-odd. And you know, you know what they're going to do. And in the trailer, where he, there's a scene where he's saying, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a god, uh, or he's my godfather, and she's going, oh, no, no, no. Literally talking over him, He's supposed to be the hero. Oh, no, we can't have an alpha male, can we? And Fleabag, who I'm talking about now, uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, is the one they brought in on James Bond. Oh, how shit must that have script been for that last James Bond film if they thought she improved it? No. No. All, all, all that was was oh oh my god I think we need to see James Bond cry yes yeah we needed to see him have a family um and and and, and basically commit suicide for all and, and to atone for all of his sins at the end of the film 
And here she is again. And we all know a, a friend of Kathleen Kennedy. Here, you, you know, you, you take over. And if the rumours are to be believed before this trailer come out, uh, she picks up, is out at the end. And then they're going to do a, a dismal minor spin-off. Do you know what? It's so believable. I shouldn't really, and I don't normally like feeding into uh, the rumour mill and the and, and the, the, the cynical mill and the, and the, the, the Twitter's, the Twitter's scape and all that. But I had, I've got to admit, I've been sucked into this one. And it's only because I kind of, it's a moment now. I think we're in a moment. You know, I'm going to do a video about it. I think the change is beginning. I do think the change is beginning. Because they could have done this. You know, because the basic fundamental question is, if you want Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is a, a, a talented writer, stroke, actress, stroke, producer. All right, just take it. Fleabag was, was decent and Killing Eve. I like the first series of that. Um, you know, she's not a crap. She's, she's not a hack. But, but paired with Kathleen Kennedy, we aren't getting Indiana Jones. Why not get together with Kathleen Kennedy and all her resources and all dismal behind her? And create a female adventurer. You know, create the female version of, but not a version of it, something new and different. But and the, the new franchise that Dismal Minus needs so badly, very, very badly, in fact, if, if you know, they're not selling any merchandise, their, their new animated films ain't doing any good, even... Let's admit that uh, Wakanda Forever is earning a few bob. It ain't getting into the realms of big profit, but it'll get its money back and earn a couple of quid. Who's going to buy the action figures? Who's going to buy the t-shirt? Who's going to buy the pyjamas? No one. No one. Everyone who's going to buy merchandise um, of the Avengers... Oh, oh, do, do you think that audience is still there saying, oh yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a set of those Wakanda Forever figures? <laughs> it does not make sense. But nevertheless, here we are, I'll get back on track. Indiana Jones, they still, they cannot help themselves, thanks to Kathleen Kennedy as well. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to name names and point fingers, to be fair. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Kathleen Kennedy, yuck. Yuck. Because if they had any kind of creative or artistic talent, with all the resources they got, this is the bit I don't understand. If, if they was trying to make their way in, 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 in the entertainment world and they had to do something provocative, yeah, sex swap Indiana Jones. Oh God, what, just leave him alone. Why not leave him alone? No, because Kathleen Kennedy can't. She's got... She's got a brilliant idea. Why don't we make every male character that's ever been a woman? Yay, Kathleen. Yay, Kathleen. And three bag, like I say, trying to steal that scene. Why, why do it? Because, I'll tell you why they've done it. Because the Indiana Jones films never had a strong woman, did they? Pause for effect. Never had a strong woman, did they? James Bond, that old flea bag got brought in on. You could you could accuse that of the misogyny and the patriarchy and all of the things that, like, oh uh, my God, you know, a modern audience doesn't want to see anymore. Yes, we do. I'm sorry, but we do. Well, not not in extreme. And I think anyone with a modicum of intelligence knows what I'm getting at now. And I'll tell you why. Maverick. This year, Maverick stole the show. And Tom Cruise was and, and his team was unapologetic. They were unapologetic in the way that oh sorry, Tom Cruise is still white, he's still heterosexual, there's no gay kiss, there's women in it, there's people of colour in it, but nevertheless, he's a male heterosexual hero and it's all kicking off. 
and he saves the day, doesn't he? And he doesn't have to cry, doesn't have to commit suicide. All right, it's a bit of a silly ending, but we all went to see it because it earned squillions. Squillions and squillions, that film. And it will resonate because I think people will start saying these idiots behind the scene that have been, that, that have been listening to the flea bags of this world and the Jar Jars and the Kathleen's, they're going to say, can't we have a bit of a maverick kind of type of film? Instead of having um, a kind of bit of a flop kind of film, a bit of a she said, <laughs> which is the latest flop of the day, or Strange World Animation, whatever it is, dismal, wow. And I'm going to do another video on all that, but at the moment, Indiana Jones has really wound me up because it's one of the big, it's one of the big franchises. I think that's why I'm, I'm I, I, it's got me, it's got me excited. The voiceover is a ramble. It's almost like this man has got Alzheimer's and, and this is no disrespect to people that, you, you know, please don't come at me with that. But because he's forgotten, he's saying magic is, is stupid. He says, in, in I don't believe in magic, he says in this trailer. Well, in the other films, didn't he see a few things that, I don't know, you know, magic might be too intense a word, but there's nothing adult in about this ramble that we get over the top of the trailer. None of it makes any, it doesn't mean anything. And all they've done is leave, you can clearly see, they have left it so loose. This film, I reckon there are, I, I, I would put money on about half a dozen versions of this film existing because they need to they need to get the feedback from the Twitter scape and the the Insta blog and the, the the YouTube rhythm and everything and people moaning and groaning oh we we'll try and please them we we'll try and please. instead of just setting out the story and telling a good story with the character we've all come to know and love they're trying to tap dance around them tulips and it will not work. It will not work. You, you, you've either got your story or you haven't. You work all that stuff out right at the beginning and a, a good creative round table uh, to make a film will decide what works, what doesn't. No, yet, yeah, but, but, but. You might, have a, you might have a couple of endings. You know, I'll give, there are choices to be made. Not this, not this. And as far as handing over, Giving fle giving Fleabag the hat, <sighs> so she can do a dismal series. <laughs> at least, uh, do you know what? No, I didn't even write a note down about this, but at least it will keep me in YouTube videos, won't it? I'm no YouTube millionaire video maker, but oh my god, it will give me something. I thought Willow was good. When that landed, didn't even know about that. That dropped in me lap, and I thought, "Oh, here we go." Got a few weeks of YouTube videos. <laughs> Kathleen, oh, and Kathleen, and another prediction. Give me, give me. You know, I'm going to give a few predictions. Might as well, might not. I? I bet Fleabag's character in this film, just based on her one kind of little that little snippet you see. I know you see her in a couple of action scenes. Other than that, that scene where she's leaning over the table, leaning over the table in front of Indy, and he's trying to get a word in, but he can't. Might as well be married, mightn't they? My wife don't watch these videos, so ha ha, I can do that. But she, she's obviously, it's, it's all about one-upmanship. Oh no, women can do things not just as good as, but even better than. My prediction is, she is going to be one annoying character in this film. Not just for me, not just from white heterosexual middle-aged men, for the audience in general. For the, the dismal, just can't, they don't get it. But because this is done, this is done, you know, because chapex has gone, you know, there are changes afoot at dismal. You know, Iger's back, but Iger started it all. <laughs> so, you know... It takes time, but this was done too. This was done too long ago, with Kathleen Kennedy's like all ten fingerprints, all right, eight plus two, over it. It's too late. 
it's too late for this one. And no one's going to want to see it. No one goes to a an Indiana Jones film to see a skinny woman making a fool of an aging cinematic hero. And we know they're going to make a fool of him because they've already got him in little golf buggies at the beginning of the trailer. Not not a car or a tank or when he's in the Jeep. You think about all the other trailers for all the other Indiana Jones films. Where he'd be fallen. And I know he's old, but they've got the de-aging process. And oh, didn't that look good when he's that bit where he's on the horse? I didn't, I didn't even know that. <laughs> we won't. We don't go there. Not yet anyway. I've been there. I've been all over this one, in us. So that's a bit of an in, invalid. Um, <laughs> we don't go there. Because that was crap CGI. That was crap. And they still left it in the trailer. <laughs> no. Um, th but that's what they're doing. They're, they're, they are clearly doing it. And I know I've kind of set my stall out early on this one. I didn't promise myself to be positive on YouTube and not to do too many predictions. But I, I can't help. I don't know why this one sucked me in, to be fair, everyone. Don't know why it sucked me in. But it sucked me in, and this film will suck. And she will be annoying, and this will be one of the the other. This will be like the Bond, the ending of Bond. This will be another franchise killed by dismal, and specifically Kathleen. You know, she's obviously out of the Star Wars lot now because Andor was all right. And let's see what Mando's like and next year's Star Wars content. Um, Go and view my Andor videos if you want to see more. <laughs> um, but it looks like she's out. Her, her power's waning and they're realising, you know. But it was t it's too late. This, this is what I mean. It's too late for Indy because that was started two or three years ago, didn't it? Uh, shame about Mangold directing it because he's, he's done a couple of decent things. Uh, but I think he's lost in it. He's lost in it now. And I think all he's got to do, he, he had a job to do at the beginning. And it was nothing to do about involving him. It was just the agenda that that Kathleen and Fleabag had set out. You know, you 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 film what we want, and then and get some nice dough. And he might go, Mango might come back and do something decent again. I'm going to end it there because I've really ranted enough. Thanks to Dismal yet again, but they seem to be one of the only players in town. To be fair, at the moment, um, and. Yeah, so I will bid you, before I bid you adios, give me a like and subscribe if you like it, and please comment. I don't know why everyone else seems to say that and I keep forgetting to do it, So, because it really does help, you know, get more people listening to my rants. If you don't want that, I suppose, yeah. Anyway, do it. Adios.